In this video, I am going to give you a prompt and a workflow to ranking on Google in less than 24 hours. That's a bold claim, so let's get straight into the proof. This is iSuit. This is the website that I'm currently working on. Yes, it is an authoritative website, but I mean, just make, just, just make a website and make it authoritative. Like, I don't know what you want from me, honestly. So yes, you can do this with a fresh domain. It's not going to be as effective, obviously. It might not rank in 24 hours, obviously, but the juice is the same, okay? So let's get into it. These two articles right here, 19th of June, 2023. 19th of June 2023. It's currently the 21st of July. I said June before. It's actually July. Sorry. So 19th of July, 19th of July. It's the 21st of July. Let's click new and we'll go to page and we'll control V. This is semi formal wedding attire. This is a really, really good niche. I'm going to break down how I found the keywords. I'm going to break down what the flow is, how I'm making sure that I'm ranking on the top page, etc, etc. But as you can see, it already has 25 keywords. This is the 19th of July. So on the first day it was written, it was getting impressions. And I'm sure one of these is a top position. Okay, let's, uh, let's actually have a look at that. Yep, there are some uh, top positions as you can see right here. So if I actually just go on Google and type in semi formal wedding attire, I wonder if I suit is going to be on this page. It's not. But you can see that it does have first uh, first page positions right here. The other one is garden party attire for men. We'll do exactly the same thing. Uh, this was another keyword that I found in exactly the same way that I'm going to show you in this video. So on the 19th, it didn't actually receive anything. But if you click most recent date right here, I'm, a, I'm expecting there to be something here. So this was the day after. This is the 20th. So although it didn't start ranking in the first 24 hours like the other article, it started ranking in the first 48 hours and it looks like it actually has a first page query as well. Let's have a little look. If ISU is here, it's not. But it says right here that it is. So yeah, we go with Search Console, not with Google itself. Let's talk about the actual workflow here. So first of all, keyword research. So we're going to be using the Google Ads Keyword Planner. There are a few other free keyword tools that you could use here, but there's just nothing better than using uh, Google Ads Keyword Planner. The main reason for that is because it's from Google and it shows accurate results. So what I like to do is I just like to search for broad terms in the niche, like attire for men, um, press enter, outfits for men, men's uh, dress, something like that, okay? and then English and United States, and then press get results. Now, the first thing you should do is you should do all of the ones here that just make sense for your business and have a lot of average monthly searches. So once you've covered all of the ones with high average monthly searches, such as cocktail attire for men, business casual for men, et cetera, et cetera, that is when you can niche down, okay? And the way I like to niche down is I like to look at three month change. Honestly, this has got one of the worst user experiences for um, for a Google product. But another thing you can do is you can broaden your search. So you can click where for men, for example, and we can press get results again and see if something else comes up. So I've actually never searched for where for men on here. So this might actually give me some new ideas that I haven't seen before. But generally speaking, you want to first cover all of these ones that have a lot of average monthly searches and then click on three month change right here and then scroll down past the infinite changes. OK, because the infinite ones don't have that many searches per month. You can see there are some here like men's formal Christmas outfits, which might be a decent one. Men's Fourth of July outfits is a little bit too late for that. So let's scroll down a little bit more and see what else there is. So this is what I'm talking about. This is a niche within a niche. Summer cocktail attire for men, which could also be summer shoes for men. It could be summer suits for men, summer blazers for men, or just an overall summer cocktail attire for men. This is the keyword we're going to use for this video example. Okay. The other thing we're going to need is Harper AI. So if you just go to harper.ai and add it to Chrome. Okay. Then we want to search this on Google. We want to see who has probably, you know, the strongest competitor right here. So let's have a little look. It looks like this one at the top right here, although this doesn't look like a particularly good website to do this on, but it looks like they're the only ones that have 
actually written this article. So we can assume that this is, yeah, this is ranking fairly well. It's on uh, Google as we saw before. So what do we do next? We're actually just going to click on Harper AI right here. I'm going to say, can you give me a breakdown of the SEO in this article and also include an outline for an article I can write myself. The brands in my article are different, so don't mention brands or the website you are writing about. Okay, so what this should do is this should give me a good breakdown of um, the article, basically. Then, while that's doing that, let's open the playground or the platform, platform.openai.com. You could probably use ChatGPT normally, but... Yeah, I'm just going to be using the playground. If you don't have GPT-4 access by now, then please just start paying for GPT-3.5 and you should get access to GPT-4 eventually. So this actually gives you a huge amount of nice uh, information that we can use. So we're going to put that here and then we're going to go to my prompt. Okay, as usual, you can find this Google document. It, it is the description. It's not in the description. It literally is the description. And yeah, we're going to be uh, copying this prompt right here. And we're going to put this as the user, not the system, obviously. We do have to change a couple of things, okay? So what I've been doing recently, and I do highly, highly recommend this, is that I'm inputting a lot of information about our brands and the businesses. I used to do this originally, and it worked really, really well, but I just stopped doing it just out of laziness. But it's super, super important that we do this, okay? I don't know if this part here about uh, mentioning the business is relevant because I'm pretty sure this hasn't mentioned. So we can just get rid of that. Uh, so we'll get rid of, but change all the mentions of Oliver Wicks to ISU. We can just remove that. Remember that we don't tailor our own clothes. We sell already tailored clothes. Here's a list of the brands. So this, this will change depending on your brand, okay? Do not just copy my... Um, my prompt, okay? You will have to create your own. And then I've added the brands and also what they sell specific to this article, okay? So this article is about how to dress for uh, summer cocktail attire for men. So for example, hoodies is not relevant, okay? Because you, you should not wear a hoodie to a cocktail event. Sorry to be the one to tell you that, but please do not wear a hoodie to a cocktail event. Um, and then the rest of them should be fine because it's got blazers, you know, zip jackets, sports coats, etc. These should be fine. Although what I would normally do is make sure that I have all my suit brands, all my, so like I don't have suits here, for example, Cesare Attalini. We sell a lot of suits, sports jackets and suits. Okay. And then at the end, use the list to create an essay about summer cocktail attire for men. When you mention a brand, you can internally link them with a relative internal link like this. And then I gave them an example, okay? This works perfectly. So this will link all of my brands perfectly, which is really, really nice. Please create a table summarizing all the information at the top of the essay, but do not just create a table of contents. Also use lists and other HTML formatting in order to make the essay more readable. We're now gonna press submit and it's not giving me markdown. So I'm gonna press cancel here and I'm gonna say, make sure to give me markdown. Why? Okay, so it turns out I didn't have output in markdown in the prompt. So we'll say, uh, write the first one out of two of this article and then we'll press submit and now it should, yes, okay. This is working really, really well for me right now. Um, I really highly recommend this personally. I know that I have a lot of different prompts, but this prompt specifically is very similar to what I was doing probably four or five months ago before I became a bit lazier and started making like lazy content. This content right here is ranking incredibly well. It's unique. It's really, really well written. It has the heart and soul of our business in here because I'm putting our brands and I'm specifically telling ChatGPT which brands to use and which products of those brands to use as well. All of that good stuff, okay? And then basically you wait until this is finished then you say write part one, uh, two out of two and then press submit again. 
And then I'll just show you the end of this process, okay? So let's pretend this has written all of the article that we need. There is one more thing I will add to the prompt, which is um, only use an internal link once. That's very, very important, okay? Once you've done, once you've got all the content, okay, and it should give you a table, you can also ask it to give you frequently asked questions, okay, at the bottom, and you can do FAQ schema, etc. I've talked about this loads and loads of times. But basically, once it finishes writing, just say something like, can you give me an FAQ section starting with H2, uh, an H2 tag, and then follow it with FAQ page schema starting with a script tag. Oh my God, it's hot in Italy. I'm sweating. I have to have the fan off when I'm making videos. So this will do exactly that, okay? You can put all of this into Markdown to HTML, and then you can put the HTML directly into WordPress, directly into Shopify, et cetera, et cetera. Today, I'm actually gonna show you that process because I had a complaint uh, in a recent video that they didn't know how to put the HTML into WordPress, which, um, yeah, you're probably a little bit new to the game if you don't know how to do that, but I will show you quickly how to do that. So let's just make sure it's got one complete FAQ section. We're gonna press cancel, and then we're gonna put all of this together in Markdown to HTML, like this. And then we'll click raw HTML like this, and we'll click uh, all posts, add new. I am working on an auto blogging script, by the way, uh, which I should have coming to people very, very soon. Okay, this didn't quite work because at the top, it looks like there is a little bit of content. No? Okay, this should just work then. Oh, it's because it has the title already, right? Oh, no, it's because my titles are really small and my headings are really big. Okay, there we go. Yeah, this this works. It's just, um, it's it's a little bit in a weird order for some reason. But yeah, basically you can see, you, you can copy and paste everything into it and then just publish the post like this. And then we will click on view post just so you can see what it looks like. Yeah, I don't know why that text was so large on there. So obviously this is just a very quick example of how to do this, but this is working incredibly well. It's giving me really, really long content that's very detailed. And to be honest with you is ranking well on iSuit and will rank well on a fresh domain as well. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. And as usual, peace out.